So we got a, a pretty serious request from an academic, Professor Peter Alilunas from University of Oregon, who tells us that he's an historian and professor uh, at the University of Oregon, and he's doing some research, and that uh, specifically I'm looking into the history of a punch card program called Edith that was associated primarily with the IBM 1401. So that's right up our alley. It created a series of images of an undressing woman that changed based on the position of the send switches. And after a flurry of emails, uh, we think we have it. So we'll try to uh, find it and run it uh, for the good of academic research. Dan? Was that Rice University or which one? Did you find e Edith? <coughs> uh, you can leave me out of it. <laughs> oh, this is a box of goodies. So this is where we would have all of our Cards, hard track programs. Wow, we have a deck of autocoder card to tape. Ah, Sophie, sounds promising, but no, Edith. Slot machine, machine. Uh, reaction time, a jackpot. I don't, know, I don't know what that says. Dogs. Downtown, Goodwill. Mm -hmm. do, do we know what all these do? No. We're looking for someone who wants to find out and categorize them and make backups. All right. Maybe I should. We should volunteer. So no Edith. You don't like Sophie? I uh, maybe. I don't know. You ever heard of Sophie Frank? What? You ever heard of Sophie? Sophie. show you the personality of the machine you see. Just give me a minute and I'll show you what I think about when I'm idle. I'm bracing for the worst. Just a minute. Now I'll show you what I'm thinking of. <laughs> and predictably it's a 1960s politically incorrect okay try number two just a minute please I'm almost ready now I will show you what I'm thinking about All right, I didn't show everything. Oops! So we figured out pretty quickly what happened, is that uh, somebody whom we will not name uh, fiddle with the switches here. Those are the sense switches, and they are usually how you put options in the program, actually that's the only way, except from reading more cards. And uh, usually when we explore programs, we try to toggle off them and see what they do. And either somebody did just that, and uh, you know, flip the switch uh, to see what would happen, or 
uh, and that, I have an inkling that's what happened. He had run it in the 1960s and he knew what Switch P would do. So when Switch P is up, uh, the lady reprints but with a lot less clothing on. I think we have found Edit. We have Edith in electronic form. This. Yeah, it has, it has the, the, the line number on the left, you're right. right. Oh, except some. Uh -huh. So this is our rigged up PC to whatever. Right. To O29 key punch. Well, and Stan, right this is your proud um, workmanship. It is. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Go. Punch it. We need to turn the switch B in German. Switch B on. Do it again, Sam. There we go. Uh oh. This is the B version, guys. Look away. Why are you guys looking so interested? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. You say something in German at the bottom. Okay, it says. Vorsicht! Zusätzliche Entscheidung von Schalter C ist verboten. So, uh, be careful, it's uh, not allowed to throw the switch C on purpose. Which is, of course, what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, switch C. Are you ready to reload for switch C? It says forbidden. Uh oh. Yeah. And start reset. Okay, we're trying the forbidden switch C. Switch C. see what it says so she lost some piece of garden that's for sure and it says in German was auch immer das Ziel ihrer Wünsche sein sollte die 1401 und du hast sie das in German lässt nicht alles mit sich machen so it was uh, 
always our goal to please you, but the 1401 uh, cannot do everything. Edit. <laughs> Good one. And over there they are preparing for the three o'clock demo and I don't think they are going to show the you're not going to show Edith or Sophie in your program I'm afraid. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck on the demo. This is a family place. <laughs>